While the United States is currently deciding whether to run Donald Trump for president or any one of a number of other people who don't believe in climate change, evolution, or women's health, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is literally explaining quantum computing to the press corps. In a clip that went viral last week, Trudeau was seen at a press conference at the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics, where a reporter jokingly says that he was going to ask him to explain quantum computing, but he would instead like to know what Canada is going to do about ISIS. Trudeau then takes the original question seriously and gives a very succinct answer about the differences between regular computing and quantum computing, namely that we can convey way more information per bit than a zero or a one when using quantum computing. Seeing a head of state explain a scientific concept is to science nerds as a Kardashian posing nude is to everyone else. It breaks our internet, except for our thing happens way less often. So of course the video went viral and along with it came an expected backlash started by Canadian conservatives and then aided and amplified by US gossip rags like Gawker. One blogger that Gawker condoned and publicized called the press conference the North Koreanification of Canadian political reporting, claiming that the question and answer were a setup specifically designed to make Trudeau look like a smart hero while avoiding important but difficult questions about ISIS. As evidence, the blogger points to a soundbite from earlier that day in which Trudeau tells the press that he learned a lot about quantum computing that day and then jokingly says that he hopes someone asks him about it during the press conference. To the conservative blogosphere, this is North Korea-level subterfuge. This surprised me because I visited Canada, and that's not something you're actually allowed to do in North Korea. Visit it. But also, I've met the people of Canada and found them to be generally well-fed and satisfied with their government and lifestyle. Well, except for the, the Quebecois, I guess. But, you know, there are always exceptions to the rule. But that's because this wasn't North Korean-level subterfuge. This was a joke. A joke that the prime minister made, which was answered with a joke from a journalist, which was then answered seriously by a prime minister who appears to actually care about science and about the facility he was visiting, instead of just going and shaking hands for a photo shoot before fucking off to play golf. Oh, and for those complaining about the prime minister not addressing the question about ISIS, he absolutely did. It's just that the viral clip cuts off just before he gets to it. Even if we accept the absolute worst case scenario here, which I don't, Trudeau constructed a soundbite in which he would sound scientifically literate for attention. Now let's compare that to the United States Republican field, where they trip over themselves to appeal to the scientifically illiterate. That's how they get attention, is by claiming to not believe in global warming, claiming to not believe in or understand evolution in the least. At the best, they just will not even mention what they think about evolution for fear of scaring away the scientifically illiterate. So is it really that bad that a prime minister is courting the scientific vote? I, for one, want a politician who cares about what the scientific community thinks, and not a politician who sucks up to the bigoted, ignorant religious right. And that's why I'm hoping to see a lot more videos like this one come from Justin Trudeau, uh, at least until President Trump erects a wall between America and Canada and shuts down the internet so we no longer have access to this sort of information.